Are you working? What kind of work do you do? Welcome to the Philly EDC Holster Clinic, where Kydex craftsmen from across America and beyond are sending in their holsters for us to give them our honest feedback about what could be better, what could be improved, and what they're doing right. Hey, what's up, folks, and welcome to episode number seven of the Holster Clinic. Uh, this one features, hey, dog. This one features uh, somebody that I've been following on Instagram for a while, and I was actually really looking forward to uh, uh, getting my hands on one of these and uh, checking it out in person. Uh, these are from Josh over at Sick Kydex Holsters, that's S-I-K. As you can see from the awesome bag of swag they sent us, which is really great. Um, yeah, you can check them out at WePleadTheSecond.com. This thing is the fucking heat, guys. Um, this reminds me of our old friend Sean over at Sentry Gun Leather, who was one of the OGs who helped me really get started and gave me a lot of good advice. He was the first person I saw ever doing this kind of like, you know, not just like two-tone, but kind of like two-tone with a border. And um, that's hard to pull off. And uh, you, both of you guys do it really, really well. Um, yeah, you guys live up to your name. This thing is really, 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 really excellent. First of all, I mean, like the number of features it comes with in terms of uh, quality injection molded belt loops, adjustable retention, uh, multiple varieties of color are all really good. Um, I looked at your website, and given the amount of labor that I, um, unless you have a machine cutting these, which I, which I don't imagine you do, um, the amount of labor to I mean, can you zoom in and see how clean the sanding is inside of these sharp cuts? That is like, if you're doing that by hand, then you are not charging enough for these holsters. Um, uh, you know, based on, based on your website. Uh, you know, in terms of like custom Kydex from the sort of uh, smaller uh, businesses, that yeah, they are a little on, on the higher end. In a world where, you know, people are making, you know, $65 black clock 19 holsters and this thing uh, as optioned, I think runs between like 80 or 90 bucks. That's still not enough. And if somebody complains to you that that's too much money, then they have no idea how much time something like this takes and you, and you don't need to listen to them anyway. Like this is insane. I don't know how you're making money on these at the price considering how much labor this must be. Like this is, this is fantastic dude. This is, this is, you're selling yourself short. Um, yeah, I'm, very impressed by this, and uh, I would recommend something like this to, uh, to anyone. I just wanted to give you one small piece of feedback, and that is, while it works really aesthetically well with what you're doing, and I think it, it like, is very uh, unique and identifying, cuts this sharp. Um, the, these holsters need to flex. They need to flex to let the gun in and out, and they need to flex during normal use. A cut like that absorbs the stress rather than, rather than passing it to the eyelets. And um, what I've seen happen to, to some of our stuff in the past that features a cut like that is that you, you can see, I'll, I'll demonstrate it. As we squeeze it, these become points, points where the material flexes. And I've, I've, I've alluded to this um, in previous reviews is that the more that happens, the more you may get um, potentially a, a, a stress fracture along that, that crease. Um, these are too beautiful and too time consuming uh, to, to have to warranty all the time. Like if, if one of these came back to me with a crack, not only would, it, would I be heartbroken that, that, that such, such a beautiful holster had any kind of issue whatsoever, and on top of that, the amount of labor that it must take to replace it would be just like prohibitive. I, you know, I'd be so upset that I was losing that much time over it. And now I'm not saying that like anything's guaranteed, but um, I would explore a way to either maintain this awesome aesthetic without any of that uh, potential risk or um, do something small that will help transmit that stress a little bit better. Like, um, let me see if I can grab this paper here. Uh, What's this? I can draw this. So here we go. We're going to take this and I'm going to grab a pen. So if I have a very, very narrow cut, right? 
say this is a cut in my holster, and these are, this is Kydex here. As this moves, this becomes the point of flex. What you can possibly do is take a very small drill bit and drill a stress relief hole there, such that as it flexes, you're not creating a crack. It sort of goes around the hole a little bit. Right, Mikey? Uh, that, is, that is one option for alleviating that stress. Now, if you do it small enough and precisely enough, you can maintain that aesthetic, hopefully, and not create a situation where what is a precise cut turns into, turns into a crack over a long period of term. I don't want to see anybody being unhappy with their sick Kydex holsters. Like, that would be totally unacceptable. Like, given the amount that you obviously care about these and the amount of labor that goes into these that I, I can see, and like the precision with which these are made, um, I, I don't want you to have a single unhappy customer ever because you don't deserve that, man. <laughs> I can tell you that now. You deserve to have nothing but happy customers who are willing to pay $20 more than what you're charging for these right now, period. Um, I encourage anybody who's looking for <laughs> something uh, awesome and fancy and has got like a little bit of a showboat cool appearance as well as uh, as much functionality as you could want out of one of these to check out sick Kydex holsters. These guys, this is this is awesome. Um, I saw on your website that you've only got a four week wait. For holsters like these, you should have an eight week wait and they should charge more. Like people should be lining up to get these and happy to get them when they show up. Um, these These are really good. Uh, <laughs> I'm really happy to see stuff like this coming into the holster clinic and, and impressing the crap out of me. Uh, so, yeah, I was, I was really happy to open this package. So, yeah, man, um, you should charge more for these because they're absolutely awesome. And everybody who uh, uh, shops at your store should be happy to pay that price and happy to wait even longer for this kind of quality. So, uh, good luck to you, man, and I can't wait to see what you do next.